Okay, so this is the last of the three video series of the My Story series. This is Hugo. This is a frog that I mentioned of having very distinctive face and coloring. As you can see, the coloring on his side. I don't want to get the light too close to him because it is freaking him out a little bit. Um, so the story behind these guys, they, uh, Hugo and Hermes, my first two frogs, they were also rescues. A friend of mine had them and decided that she no longer wanted them. She wanted them for the novelty, and then the novelty wore off too quick. So what had happened is she threw Hugo and Hermes in a small Tupperware container and left them there. Um, they had no lighting, their water was filthy, they were hardly fed, um, they had no filter system, and they were pretty malnourished, and they were in very, very poor conditions. So I took them home with me. I fed Hugo up pretty good, and... Now you can see he's got quite the belly on him. In fact, all my frogs are nice and healthy in that way. Um, he has gotten out a couple times. He's a little escape artist, but he always managed to find his way home where I brought his butt home. Um, he is my favorite out of the four. Um, since I've had him, he has been amplexing a lot. He's been mounting all the females, so I'm really hoping that I will get some little deformed babies out of him because I think he'd make some pretty interesting offspring. Um, he's usually got some pretty nice colors to him. Uh, he's very tame. He's I really love him. I mean, these guys are great. They're so fun to watch. And they're doing really, really well. And I'm going to actually put him back just because he's drying out a little bit and I don't want to. So we'll put him back in his tank. So maybe I can find another one. Oh, here's, here's Classy. We'll get Classy. Okay, so this is Classy. She is my brightest female. Um, she's always super, super bright. It doesn't matter what it is. She's always incredibly bright. And, I mean, compared to Hugo, there's quite a few shade difference. And Classy seems to be one of Hugo's favorites in terms of mating. So I hope that these two will end up get together and get a batch of offspring because I think they would make a great batch. Um, considering Hugo's very unique uh, look to them and Classy's beautiful coloring and decoration and design. And then I also have, if I can find her, yeah. here's Big Mama. If I can get her. So this is Big Mama. She's a fat girl. Uh, this is actually one that had a serious injury actually in my care. Um, she had a, a decoration dropped on her while I was cleaning the tank. I didn't realize she was still in the tank. And she actually had her side rip open, and uh, a few of her innards had actually been exposed, um, and I felt so bad. So she was on, uh, she was quarantined in her own little tank for about a month and a half on strict uh, supervision, and she's super healthy now. She's been back in this tank for about a month. She's jumping around like nothing ever happened. She's being mounted like by Hugo, and she's super bright and active, and she's just having the time of her life. So. Super happy that she was able to make it through. So that's her. And the last frog, unfortunately, I don't know where she is right now. She's probably hiding somewhere in here because she's got quite a few places to go. Um, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure where she is. And don't mind the water. The water's actually not dirty. It was just changed. This is because the plants in there kind of turn it to a greeny color. So yeah, so that is the my story on the fire belly frogs. Cheers.